Hi, today we are going to learn how to find time complexity of a particular function. There are three types of asymptotic notation we have seen in last class, big O, theta and omega. And big O is upper bounded values. In this calculation, we had taken a function f and g are non-negative function. So what is the meaning of non-negative function is that for any resources like time or space, we do not take any negative form. It means if algorithm runs, it runs either one second, two second or one minute, two minute hours, but it can't be a negative. Now let's understand big O, theta and omega. Big O notation of g of n. g of n is the function we have assumed for the f. So f of n should be less than or equal to c of g of n, where c should be greater than 0 and n should be greater than n naught and n naught should be greater than or equal to 1. It means number of input be a 1 or more than 1. So in graphical form, it can be C, and this is x axis as n inputs and it is time. If f of function exists, for example, f of n equal to 3n plus 2, so there should be a C of g of n, C is assumed by yourself. We will find C of g of n for this condition. If we find any C of g of n, for example, C equal to 1, if we take 1 and g, g of n is n, will it be above the f of n? No. For input more than 1, it will not be. If we take c equal to 4, c equal to 4 and n, the so for n is greater than or equal to 2, that n naught, n naught is greater than or equal to 2, f of n equal to 3n plus 2 then 4 of 4 dot n for n not is greater than or equal to 2 it will be above the f of n so its complexity would be big O of g of n that is big O of n for f of n equal to 3n plus 2 we have taken this it is big O of n we have taken least upper bound value which is closest to f, a, f of n. It is upper bounded now let's understand theta theta of g of n it lies between c1 of g of n and c2 of g of n so you have to find two constant values c1 and c2 such that function f of n should be greater than c1 of g of n and less than c2 of g of n and graphically we can see we have to find a function g of n and two constant values c1 and c2 for that fn we lower bounded by c of g of n and upper bounded by c2 of g of n For same example 3n plus 2, we can see if we take c1 equal to 1 and c2 equal to 4, so we will find it lies between n and 4n. For n is greater than or equal to 2. So theta function would be f of n equal to theta of n. And omega notation that is lower bounded is just opposite to big O. If you just see that theta is a lie between big O and omega and omega is just opposite to big O. f of n should be greater than or equal to c of g of n where n is greater than or equal to n naught and c is greater than or equal to 0 and is n naught is greater than or equal to 1. This is your assumption. You have to find C. You have to assume G of N. For that F of N 
should be greater than or equal to c of g of n if we take the example 3n plus 1 3n plus 1 is greater than or equal to if c equal to 1 it is n n not is greater than or equal to 1 for any n with greater than or equal to 1 we can find that this condition true so least lower bounded value is n so that's why it is omega n in the last class we have also said that g of n can be taken for this n square then also condition will be true it's mean for 3n plus 2 big o notation n square is also possible but we take least upper bound value similarly here we take closest lower bounded value for f of n so omega n is correct answer for 3n plus 1 we can also take log n okay so this is big o theta and omega notation thank you